Hey everybody. So a meme came across my page um, on Facebook the other day. And it talked about how pumpkin spice, it was pumpkin spice season. Somebody said, to heck with that. It's soup season. Because um, that's what fall's about, is soup. Uh, going into winter, something heartier, something more good for you. Um, and that kind of struck me because I'm, I'm not a pumpkin spice guy. Uh, I am allergic to cinnamon, so pumpkin spice doesn't do it for me. Um, and thankfully my wife uh, accommodates me. She's our baker of the family. Because I can't bake my way out of a paper bag. It just is what it is. Um, so she, uh, she accommodates me and we make uh, our own pumpkin spice using nutmeg instead of uh, cinnamon. So anyways, um, I thought today being a very rainy day, and with everybody just kind of feeling bleh, you know, you get stuck in the house after a while, um, you got to do something. You got to liven things up, and that's what we're going to do tonight. Um, I'm going to show you a basic chicken noodle soup, my favorite soup in the world, homemade chicken noodle soup. There's nothing better. If you're not feeling well, if you're just kind of feeling blah, it's perfect. Just absolutely perfect. So anyways, we have our mise en place right here. Okay, all the way, mise en place. Bum, 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 bum. All the way up over there, oh my goodness. Taking up the whole counter. Anyways, mise en place is French for mess in place, i.e. all your ingredients ready to go. So that way when you do your, your soup or your bread or your entree or whatever it is you're making, it's already set up ready to go. So you're not having to run out to get anything. You know you can make the recipe and you're all set. So what I do is we've got a pot with some oil. We're going to turn that on. Okay. Then we have mirepoix, which is onion, celery, and carrots. Another French term for you if you're, if you're taking notes. Uh, not to be confused with Holy Trinity. Holy Trinity down in Louisiana, they use it for gumbo. Um, I believe it's onions, carrots, and peppers. Uh, if it's not onions, carrots, and peppers, it's onions, celery, and peppers. Anyways, I sub in peppers for one of them. Um, we've got garlic, fresh thyme from the garden. As you can see, it's very nice. It's all picked, washed, and picked. Two types of pasta. Why? because we have gluten-free and regular uh, cons regular pasta consuming people here in the house. These noodles are a organic brown rice elbow for my wife and my daughter. And this is a light, fluffy, extra wide egg noodle for me because I can have that. We got some chicken stock. We did make it from base because the chicken stock I had was no good. Um, just kind of adding stuff in as we go. I do have more water and more base just in case we need it, okay? And like I said, we're just adding stuff in. Now with your mirepoix, what you need to do is you do one part celery, one part carrots, and two parts onion, okay? Especially in a chicken noodle soup, you don't want a lot of carrots. Carrots will be very sweet, so it's gonna, Sweeten it up way too much, okay? So anyways, there we have onion, celery, carrots. Okay, that's all set aside. And that's gonna cook, I'm gonna saute it up real quick. Make sure it started the process, we'll cook it down. And then once it's cooked down, we'll add the garlic and the thyme. To this pot and saute that right after we cook down the mirepoix. The garlic you add later because it burns very easily and you're not trying to caramelize. We're just trying to cook it through to get a nice smooth garlic flavor to go in with this. The thyme goes in when the stuff is sauteed to blossom the, the oils. It heats the oils that are in the leaves and it's called blossoming and it gives you a better flavor coming out of the thyme in your soup or in your entree, or whatever you want. Um, the one thing I didn't tell you about for chicken noodle soup, we have chicken, okay? Now, if you look close, you see there's liquid there in the corner? 
that's all chicken stock coming out of this chicken. I cut it up, salt, pepper, oil. Um, the oil I use is just a vegetable oil, nothing special. Uh, like I said, salt, pepper, oil, and under the broiler, and just cook it down. You can, you can saute it if you want, if you want all that flavor in the pan. All this flavor is going in the pan, but if you wanted to have a little bit more flavor in the pan, that's, that's up to you. Um, somewhere I have a spoon to stir this. So we're going to walk back over here. There's the chicken stock, the garlic, and there it is. In the sink is the spoon. the ratio of the carrots and celery to the onion. Okay, once again it's two parts celery, one part carrot, two parts onion. Okay, and we'll be right back after this cooks down and we add the next ingredient. Okay, as you can see, garlic and thyme is in. Okay, and we're just going to mix that in. I used about three cloves of garlic. Um, three cloves of garlic, three heads of, I'm sorry, three onions, one large carrot, and probably four or five stalks of celery. Whatever, you know, use whatever it takes to get your ratio proper, okay? I wish you could smell this. It smells ridiculous. It's that fresh thyme and garlic and the onions and the, the carrots and the celery. It's just coming along so well. Um, talking about the pasta, all the I pre-cooked the pasta, okay. And the reason being is I don't cook it in the uh, sorry, a little butter on that one for some reason. I don't cook it in the the soup because I don't like how when you add starch like that or rice or any anything like that, you know, rice or pasta, that it literally will absorb everything in the soup, all the, all the liquid in it. And you're left with just a big pile of mush. Okay. Well, this is almost totally cooked down. The next thing we're going to do after this, we're going to add the chicken. And then we'll add the stock. And we'll season it with a little salt and pepper. Just salt and pepper. That's all. Salt and pepper time. Um, some people do use um, bay leaf in theirs. Again, you're going to add that the same time you add the thyme in right now. Because you want that flavor that's in the oils. Even if it's dried, there's still oils there to be drawn out. So, I'm going to put you on pause. Alright, so we've added the chicken and the stock that was on the pan and the, the broth. I didn't put any salt in it because it had plenty of salt from the chicken that we added as well as the stock that we created using the bouillon. Um, bouillon, I tend to use this. I find it, it incorporates better. It's got a better all-around flavor than just bouillon cubes. It's a little bit more expensive, but sometimes you get what you pay for, guys. So, anyways, with this soup, there's a lot of nice stuff in it. It's what we call goombas. A lot of goombas in the soup, okay? Um, the goal eventually, in, in some soups, is to make sure that, at least professionally, you want everything to be able to fit on your spoon. So if somebody's eating... If you're not making a big stew or chowder, you want them to be able to fit everything on one spoonful so they can taste the whole thing that you created in their mouth at the same time. Now, this chicken's a little bit bigger than that. It will break down a bit in the soup because we're going to simmer this for about 20 minutes just to help incorporate all the flavors with everything that we just added. And then we're done. We'll put the pasta in the bowls and we'll have soup. Oops, I do need to uh, 